Okay guys, so there you have it, the test and gameplay of the Logitech Driving Force Pro GT, or Driving Force Pro, whatever you want to call it. I will give you some pros and cons. Um, pros, it's a very good steering wheel. The rubber on the wheel is much better. Plus, with the additional buttons on the on the on the wheel, gets you through the game much faster. Plus, the really cool stick shift. Sure, it's a it's like a beginner stick shift. But hey, a stick shift is better than no stick shift. Um, the cons, uh, I was gonna drive this in manual, but since apparently. Like, because the gear shift wasn't working, I tried shifting up and down um, while I was doing manual. It wouldn't work. Like, I had to use the D-pad, and then maybe some of the, uh, like, I then I had to try to, I was trying to figure out which button. Yes, I did go to the sense, try to configure it. Even when I, uh, even when I did do that, the gears weren't shifting. So, either way, I just went to automatic and, you know, just did it by itself. So, I wouldn't bore you guys that much. But, um, not that I don't want to bore you guys, but. So yeah, I guess, mm, I don't know. I guess the thing is like, this may work with games that, are, that were currently like supposed to be made for the game, while others like with the early and late maybe like late PS3 games may not work as much as they do with on other games. It just I guess it just varies what game you're playing. If it's Initial D, Gran Turismo, or you know, Rally, who knows? But either way, thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you guys later. Bye guys.